I think something that has become um, more important during lockdown is quiet and silence. Um, I think we've certainly in, in my life there's been more of that because of lockdown and that's something that I enjoy um, despite the fact that I make music um, but it has been an opportunity to have a bit more quiet and I suppose retreat from the sounds and noise of day-to-day -day, day -day living I've definitely had a real change in what I do as a composer and a musician. Um, not being able to perform or rehearse um, or work physically with other people has, like I'm sure most of us, forced us to work a lot by exchanging files online plus um, the sort of ubiquitous form of creating videos to lots of people which I've done myself as well and that's been great um, but also for me it's been uh, an opportunity to learn my tools uh, better especially electronic tools I've, um, I've really become much more invested in the use of computers and software which is something I wouldn't have done to the extent that I have without this lockdown. I think despite the fact that live music has stopped with the exception of live streaming um, the fact that people still engage with music um, a great deal really means that it, it, it remains really important to people and um, I think that personally I find the live streaming concerts a bit difficult to get on with a lot of the time and I think a lot of other people have said the same and I wonder whether this w this situation will mean that some people might see the value of live music a little more than they did previously. Uh, selfishly I hope for opportunities to meet people and play together with people and work together with people physically um, beyond that and beyond myself I just really hope that the lockdown hasn't weakened parts of our business our music business um, so much that they can never recover whether that's certain strands within um, sort of underfunded or uh, quite niche parts of, of music um, music production and music performance um, or other other things that, that that might suffer in that way and especially the danger is that it's only extremely well-funded parts of music that might survive this properly, um, leaving the independent small stuff to suffer. That would be my worry, so my hope is that that doesn't happen and that instead there may potentially be 
a flourishing of um, independent work, maybe based on things that people have been getting up to whilst they've been locked down.